Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video, I'll be talking about a room called Takeover. So this is going to be a simple and sweet write-up, a uh, video write-up on the room Takeover. Challenge description is simple that this challenge revolves around subdomain enumeration. Now you might think that it is quite easy and the difficulty being easy, you might also think that. But uh, a lot of people had issues solving this room me being one of them and i'll tell you the simplest reason why this might happen and what you could have done to avoid this now i am i'll be using some of the word lists uh, that are there in the seclist repository now in order for you to see them or use them in your future uh, test case or uh, future pen tests i'll be posting the link in the description now it says that our website is located at https and futurevera.thm. Don't forget to add this in your etc hosts. So let me sudo nano etc host and let's just add it in here. Let's add this. Cool. Now, first of all, let's just begin with a Rust scan because there might be multiple web services running. So the thing that you might miss in here is what I'll be showing it to you. So now we can see that we have two ports open, sorry, three ports open. The first is 2022, 20, second is 80 and 443. Now this gives us a hint that there are two ports open. So one is HTTP and the second is HTTPS. So let's just go to HTTP which is futurevera.thm and as you can see we are being redirected to https and what if we just go to http again we are being redirected to https but this does not mean that http uh, that all the subdomains are all hosted on https there could be something on http as well so what we can try to do is fuff tag w subdomains top 1 million let's just use 20,000 and let's just use h sorry tag u and let's just use http when you're trying to perform subdomain enumeration uh, just try to remember that you use tag u http followed by the ip address and tag h host first dot the host name which is futurevera.thm because at the end this is what is going to be first so just remember using this IP address in the tag u and tag and using first dot the domain name in the tag h and let's just hit enter okay I'm sorry about that I got it wrong FFUF and as you can see we are getting a lot of 302s and what we can try to do is we can try to filter so anything that has a word equal to 1 will not be in the output so what you can try to do is tag FW1 and as you can see you get the subdomains being listed so i'm not going to run it for a lot of time because i have already run it and as you can see we have portal and payroll so let's just also try to add this in our etc file let's just add portal.futurevera.thm and payroll thm and there we go so let's just try to uh, http payroll.futurevera.thm and as you can see it is only available via internal uh, vpn so let's just go to portal and as you can see this also says that it is only available by internal vpn and this is where i got it wrong so i was trying to see if there is an ssrf in the application that might get me an internal access and i was trying to add a lot of headers and trying a lot whole, whole bunch of things but it did not work the reason being that there is also a port 443 open which i had completely missed so what you can try to do is you can use again the same thing but this time what you will be doing is you will be using https and using the same word list so if i hit enter 
uh, again you will see that you get a lot of 200s so in order to filter those what you can try to do is you can filter out the words FW1511 and you'll straight away get two um, subdomains the first is support and the second is blog so let's just also add them sudo nano etc host and we got blog dot this and we got support dot this cool so let's just use blog and let's just use HTTPS except the risk can continue again you'll see that there is nothing in here that might be of use to you what we can again do is go to go here nothing in the certificate as well so the next thing we can do is support again this is a single page application nothing in here so the next thing we can try to do is look up the certificate and here in the certificate you'll see a DNS name let us again add it to our hosts file and let's just accept this and continue for some reason it is working let's just go to http this strange let us curl it and if I curl it with a tag V you will see that I am being redirected to this location and for some reason my browser did not redirect me for uh, to this sub uh, to this s3 bucket but as you can see this is the flag that we get so thank you guys this is it for the video